Hi. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Pretty good. What do you have here? Uh, I have what I think is a Chinese hand cannon from the Ming Dynasty. Okay. Kind of looks like a cowbell to me. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I'm looking to sell my antique Chinese hand cannon today. I bought it at a flea market in Minnesota for $50. It has nine barrels, and it also has some interesting branches off it in the metal that look like it could be some sort of artwork, maybe. I'm asking for $1,500. If I make a sale today, I'm looking towards donating my money towards a philanthropy which supports people with ALS. It's actually pretty cool if it's from the Ming Dynasty. Originally, gunpowder was used for fireworks. Chinese invented gunpowder, they made fireworks with it, and then they realized, hey, if we put a projectile on here, we can use this gunpowder as a weapon. And they really started to just start making guns and cannons and whatever they could, and this would have been a very early example of a handgun, I guess. This does appear to be a hand cannon, and uh, you see the barrel here, and this is where you put the projectiles and the gunpowder. There should be some holes up here, yeah. Some holes in here uh, is where you would put the wick, and you would fire this off. It would actually take two people because someone has to aim it and someone has to light it and get it firing. But you really can't aim it. This okay. would have been. This is more for close combat. It looks really old. Yeah, it does look really old. But you know, I'm not sure if it's authentic or not. It it is made out of iron, which is a good sign. What are you looking to do with it? I'd like to sell it. And how much are you looking to get? Uh, hopefully $1,500. OK, um, I'm definitely intrigued. It's really cool. It could be worth that, but uh, I'd like to have someone come in and take a look at it, verify that it's authentic from the Ming Dynasty, and then we can talk about a price. How about that? Sounds good. All right, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go call Bob. OK. I'm excited to hear what the expert is going to say about my item. I really do think that it is a Ming Dynasty hand cannon, and it'll be really gratifying to see if I'm right. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Chum. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, this gentleman brought in this Chinese hand cannon. This gentleman is under the impression that it could be from the uh, Ming Dynasty. Cool. So the hand cannon was the shotgun of the day. So in this case, we've got nine uh, barrels pointing at somebody. And think of a row of these, maybe 100 people holding these, all going off at one time. So it made carnage of the enemy as they're coming toward you. You want to take a look at it and tell me if you think it's authentic? I would love to. So obviously iron. So you can tell that from the dark brown patina. I also like seeing that the holes aren't perfect, so it wasn't done with modern machinery. So this was cast. The surface has been hammered. Everything about this end of it looks great. Now, when I look at this, I'm seeing something that's a little bit strange. There's a seam that runs down through here. OK. So that tells me the shaft has been machined in modern times. It's got a modern weld. It's got a seam here. This is new, but that's OK. The important part, the usable part, this section, the part that really matters is authentic. It is from the Ming Dynasty. What kind of value does it have? The shaft being replaced in that condition, this should sell right at 1000 bucks. It's the real deal. All right, well, I appreciate you coming by, Bob. Thank you. Always my pleasure. Thank you. All right, you bet. Take care, guys. All right, so Bob says it's worth 1000 bucks. Would you take 400 for it? That's a little low. And what are you thinking? How does 750 sound? That's still a little high. It's really cool, but would you do 500? Can we push it to six? Can we meet at 550? Let's do 550. All right, well, meet me over there, and I'll write you up. Sounds good. Actually, Santos, you go write him up. Follow me, buddy. All right. I took a shot in the dark asking $1,500 for it, but considering that I paid 50 bucks, this has been a great return.